So, you've probably already heard of Sonic Origins from, well, either being a Sonic fan or, just like me, being a machinist that actually his favorite character is Sonic and not Mario. Yeah, if you're a new viewer, then that's fine that you thought that my favorite video game character is Mario, but that's not what today's video is about. Today's video is about Sonic Origins and pretty much my thoughts about the game. Well, you see Sonic 3 footage, with occasional edits here and there. But, pretty much, I'm just going to be explaining what I think is good and bad, or just weird, about Sonic Origins, from what I know. So, let's get into it. So, first of all, I like how every game is in widescreen, and I still don't know much of anything, and I'm not certain of all of my things that I'm about to say, are 100% correct. But I do indeed know that for facts, there is two different modes of the game. Classic mode and anniversary mode. Now I've heard from a certain YouTuber that anniversary mode contains all the widescreen stuff and then the classic mode is just the four by three aspect ratio. I find that dumb if that's actually gonna be the case, but Eh, who knows? The game's coming out in two months, so we still don't know much about it. But we'll probably find out not too long from now. But anyways, so I have a genuine question for this game. Why in the world do they have it to where there are two versions of the digital game to buy? Well, not two, not three, not four, but five from what I saw. And I just find that stupid because... Why should there be five versions of the same game that, well, most of, if not, I think all of the features that are in the digital deluxe version, I feel like they're just stuff that you can unlock easily in the normal game, but it's just you have them from the start instead of actually working to get them, which could be a turn off to people. I personally just don't care because... I don't care what version I get, it's pretty much the same game as always, but as long as there's going to be like some stuff that I'm hoping and legitimately, most likely, at the game's release, praying for, like, max control options with a drop dash, I'm not sure if max control is going to be in it, but there is speculation that the drop dash will be in it, because some of the people that worked on Mania are coming back to this game, which I just genuinely think is awesome, and... I'm definitely excited to see where this goes from, well, from what we know from right now to what we will find out in the future. Because May is and June are pretty much just going to mean months where there's going to be sprinkles of information found about the game. Most likely before it comes out in June of this year. So that's my thoughts of Sonic Origins. I'll maybe make a video about this game again if some big breaking news is discovered about the game but i find that most likely that's probably not gonna happen unless if people want me to make another video about this game i don't think i will just because i want to stick to working on the videos that i should be working on right now still not done with either the sonic movie 2 review or the sonic well i'm not sonic but yeah, I'm not done with either project, so I'm going to start working on those as soon as I can. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!